and one. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you to the third annual symposium of the Program for Music Mind Society. We have a fantastic plan of history today. To start off, I want you to imagine that you or your loved one has one of the following possible post traumatic stress disorder, Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, Williams syndrome, intermindic disorders, hearing loss. Or maybe you've undergone surgery for a certain intensive care unit. So, one thing that all these conditions have in common is that they are being studied with 10 and research methods at any level, and that's been true for some time. What else do they have in common? Well, it's what sparks your interest in this event, it's a fondness of natural residence, and it brings millions of visitors per year to our community. By now, you get that it is new. All of these conditions could potentially be helped by music, music listening, learning an instrument, dancing, parents making music with their children, and of course, this will all make sense in the program for Music Mind and Society is to discover how and why music affects us and to discover new ways that music can improve our daily lives. Now, for most of us, song is a non negotiable part of our daily lives. It stops and think for a moment if you can get through a day or a week without singing. I know I can. There is so much exciting research happening on singing at Vanderbilt that this year we are thrilled to focus our annual symposium on the science of song. This is a topic that is really near and dear to my heart. Well, long before I became a neuroscientist, I was a singer, and I became interested in how singing is processed in the brain, and that led me to go Fast forward a decade and a half, and now, what is the team to the Music Mind Society Research on Campus have a music background and a passion for combining their interests in science and music? So I think that today we've coined a term, musician scientists. What can we musician scientists create together that is greater than the sum of its parts? Well, a few years ago, when I was a postdoc at Vanderbilt, there was this idea that this wouldn't go away. Many folks on campus and in the community were becoming more and more interested in why and how music affects our mind, body, brain, and body. So this idea that just wouldn't go away was to make Music City a magnet for music research. So we nurtured this idea with significant investments from the Department of Early Technology, the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center, the Vanderbilt Brain Institute, and then joining forces with the Curb Center Engineering and where we were awarded the Stanford's Initiative Trans-Institutional Program. We now have involvement from 15 and counting Vanderbilt Department of Technology Centers. And the vision is simple, to become a world leader in the discovery of how and why we need to work. So just over a year ago, I spent this podium at a new symposium and I marvel at the diversity of music related research projects happening all over the world. So if you're about them today, you can learn more about them at our brand new website. And you can also learn about our program's multitude of past and future events. Enthusiasm for our program has been spreading across campus like an uncontainable surge of energy. The first part of planning this year's symposium is trying to plan all the amazing content into just this hour. Today's program is packed, and we are going to stand trying to fit it all in. We are extremely grateful for our presenters, performers, and sponsors for making today's event possible. We are so excited to have Dr. Isabel Perez here to give the keynote, who has been a formidable presence in the music research field. We have a terrific music lineup to make the science of song come alive, and we are funded by a trans institutional program grant from the Chancellor of the Museum. Investments from the Bill Wilkerson Center and the Department of Global Arendology under Chairman Rodney, who's enthusiastic with this thing. Our heartfelt thanks go to the Vanderbilt Brain Institute for sponsoring the keynote lecture. And then thanks to Director Ron Emerson and Dean Mark Walls for making this sponsorship possible. The Vanderbilt Kennedy Center, the leadership and steadfast support from Dr. Elizabeth Duncan. The Code Center and the Director, Dr. Jay Clinton, for generously co sponsoring the reception. A brand new nonprofit called the American Foundation for Music and Science to sponsor our songwriters round. The yeah, IU Glue Company for providing your jurisdiction and of course the Glitter School of Music for hosting us in this incredibly inspiring venue. With special thanks to these Mark Wade and Mr. Rose and Tom for their support. I really want to emphasize my gratitude to the senior ways leadership of the Music Mind and Society Steering Committee. Our program chair, Sarah Beck, has put phenomenal thought and planning into the day's program. Our symposium manager, Laura McLeod, at the Kennedy Center, has outdone herself as usual. And a shout out to the students and staff in my lab for sticking in and helping to get the job. So I look forward to meeting many new faces today. So if you'd like to become more involved with Music Mind Society, please come find me during the course of the session. And we will 
be live streaming from that means of mine talk all day and do a constant cash time in the We are thrilled and honored to have our dynamic mayor of New York City, U.S. State, here with us today. Her leadership in her first year of office has already shown a strong commitment to innovation, industry, and culture. Please join me in welcoming National Mayor Megan Jackson. 